Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Can Career English Grammar videos. And uh, today we are going to talk about uh, the second part of nouns. In the previous video, we spoke about singular and plural form of nouns and their usage, the rules related to, to them. So now we are going to talk about possessive nouns. Now you know what noun means. Noun is nothing but it's, it means a names of a sorry a noun names a person place thing or idea now uh, let's move on to the topic that we are going to talk today we are going to talk about possessive nouns now uh, possessive nouns are nothing but you are um, it means um, it indicates the ownership now while indicating the ownership uh, you are using apostrophe s when you in in case of uh, possessive nouns so um, but there are again like you know uh, various rules related to the usage of possessive nouns by in in case of using the this in this usage so we are going to talk uh, more about that today now um, let's say um, there is a car okay uh, let me make the color black here so let's say there is a car uh, which belongs to john how are we how are we going to represent i'm mean, like how are we going to frame uh, you know, say this belongs to john so we are going to say john's car right you're going to add ap uh, apostrophe and s here john's car or Lila's book. Lila's book. Okay. This is uh, one rule uh, when it comes about using apostrophe S. Now, uh, when there are, there is one thing, okay, uh, one thing which belongs to two, uh, two people. One thing me, which belongs to two people. What do you do in that case? Okay. Forgive me. Uh, let me talk like in case of plural form. So I don't want you to get confused. So we'll go step by step. So let's say um, the if if in case of um, uh, plural, um, sorry, uh, if you have to represent the ownership uh, in plural form, when the plural form of the noun ends with s. Okay. So at that time, you have different rules here. The, the rule is that, you know, in, for example, here, kid, okay, is a singular form and the plural form of kids is kids. Now, you want to say kids, you, you, you want to represent, uh, sorry, you want to mention about the toys that belongs to kids, right? How do you put it? Now, you're going to say kids is this toys. No, this is wrong. Okay, this is totally wrong. The right usage is um, this is wrong, and the right usage is that you have to say kids, okay, kids, and apostrophe only, and then say toys. Sorry, then say toys. This is the right way of usage. So the rule is that if the plural form ends with s. You are not adding apostrophe and s again. You are going to add just apostrophe and then continue with the um, with the next thing what you want to talk about. Now, kids' toys, for example, um, um, boys. Okay, so there are two boys who has uh, uh, two cricket bats. So you are going to say boys cricket bats. Okay, so remember, in case of plural form uh, of nouns, uh, you are not using apostrophe and yes, but you're just using apostrophe. Now, in case of singular form here itself, uh, if there is one boy and he has a one, he has a bat, you're going to talk about, talk, put it this way, boys, bat. That means this belongs to one person, one boy. And same thing applies here to kids' toy. You're going to say kid's toy. 
So there's one kid and these toys belong to him, kids' toys. Okay. So I hope you got this point. Now we are also we have we are moving on to the next step where there is one thing belong to two people. Okay. Let's say uh, Raja and uh, Rani are a couple and they own a house. Okay. How do you put it? This is Raja. This is Raja and Rani's house. So when it is one thing is owned by two people, the rule is that you are adding apostrophe yes in on second person. You're not going to say this is Raja's and Rani's house. You cannot say that. Okay. If there are two houses, they are two different houses and they are be they belong to two different people. Let's say Raja and Rani are two different people. Okay. And they live separate in two different houses. Okay, two different houses. Then you are going to say then you are going to say Raja's and Rani's house. Okay. So remember if the if there are two things belong to two different people, in that case you are going to put apostrophe yes on each and every name there. Whereas if there is one thing which belongs to two people, then you're going to mention the apostrophe only on one person. Okay, this is Raja and Rani's house because there's one house which belongs to both of them. Okay, so keep in mind, these are the rules in terms of um, using uh, positive nouns. So let's go back to the um, the um, presentation I have here. Uh, so as I said, now you're using in order to indicate the ownership, you're using apostrophe yes. Okay. So in general, so John's book, Kerry's car, grandma's mirror. Now when noun is plural and it ends in s. Okay. So you're adding only apostrophe here. So the kids' toys, my parents' house, teachers' launch means there are two or more teachers. Okay, and it's in plural. So now uh, let's move on to the third one here. As I mentioned, now if two people own one thing, then you are adding the apostrophe and yes to the second person only. Now here, John and Mary's new house, David and Sue's wedding, Tom and Doc's car. Now. Um, in case of if two people own two separate things or many separate things and you are adding the apostrophe yes for each person. Now Susan's and Beth's books means there are two books and they belong to two different people. Jeans and Dan's pants, Ben's and Jim's offices like that. So here we are going to wrap up uh, about possessive nouns. Thank you for watching this video. We will move on to the next session in the next video about pronouns. So all the best for your exam and uh, prepare well. Learn more about these things. This will help you. And in the meantime, I wanted to say, try to build up vocabulary by learning five new words every day. Uh, this will help you too.